Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to test how strong is rubber. And we are going to test it by using our 150 ton force sensor. And we visited local like rubber thing shop and we bought most of these from there. Hockey pucks are from the supermarket. And I have no idea what these are for, but <laughs> we are going to just squeeze them with the press and see how much it's going to make force. And then on the last thing we are going to explore some hockey pucks, but we can't use the sensor for that because it would probably break from the explosion. But I think we are going to start with this. I think this is like a rubber bumper for a really large truck. Okay, and here we go. Hey, it's pretty tough. It's really tough. No, the press isn't completely full power, but I think that was enough. If it explodes, the sensor is gone, so I'm going to release it. <laughs> That's really tough. Let's have a look how it's doing. Hey, the, like uh, there is pattern on the sensor, so I can put things on the middle. And that got printed on here. And there is some like cracks. And that's like that. But yeah, it's... I think we weren't even close to exploding this. Yeah, but uh, let's test with the uh, like rubber tube next. And now I have the full pressure on, so I think this time it's going to break. And here we go. That's not very strong. Yeah, that's full power. It's like rubber pancake. I think I'm going to release it. Hey, that's nice. <laughs> it's alive. Yeah, I think it's 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 no, it's still doing something. Hey, what the hell we made? Yeah, it's it's interesting. Yeah, let's let's try the uh, springy thing next. I have no idea what this can be used for, but now we are going to crush it. I kind of did something. Yeah, let's have a look. It got cut from like four places. Yeah, but it's still really hard. I think we have to... I think we are going to test one more with this tool and then we are going to switch to smaller tool to get some explosions. And then we have this boat bumper rubber thing. Let's see how hard this one is. Yeah, no explosion, but it was pretty hard. And this was from different store. And I have to say, that the rubber isn't so high quality. 
because it's like it's like this but this is also like a bit older like we bought it like half a year ago or not that much like a couple months ago and it haven't been the sunlight or anything so it's like it's not Piltema wrapper is worse wrapper than a Koryakumi wrapper. And we decided to do one more with the sensor. Rapper band ball. How strong it's going to be? I say that two tons and my wife thinks that's three. So we have to find out. Now it's failing. Ha! Ah, 40 tons. Okay. That was that was much more interesting than I thought. Yeah, but uh, wife wins and I lose, or I think Anni lose also, because it was much harder than we thought. Yeah, let's have a look on the slow motion. And for some reason, this hockey puck didn't explode. And for reference, here is our really old hockey puck video. And the hockey puck somehow looks different. And this one explodes. Like that. So there is still smoke and everything. And I think it's like, I'm not sure if this like better or worse hockey puck that explodes. It seems to be more springy and harder than the one that we didn't get explode on this time. So if somebody knows anything about hockey pucks, then please comment down below which hockey puck is like more expensive or cheaper and what's the difference between the two. Okay, now we have Koryakumi special hockey puck. It's not really a hockey puck, but it's just like same shape and size. So let's see with this one. No, same thing. I wonder will it fly when it gets free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. This is, I don't know what it is. It's made out of rubber and let's see it, if it explodes. I crash it a little bit more, it might still explode. No, it, it, it didn't explode. But the flying part was funny. Yeah, so seems that you have to be really unlucky to make rubber explode. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have this ice hockey rooster. It is extremely dangerous, so we have to deal with it.